Hey, I've got a nice little digital angle gauge here from Volcanoes Club. That's the brand and the seller. And let's check it out. So we can see here, comes, we've got your little box, digital angle gauge, tells you a little bit about it. The range of display is four times 90 degrees. The resolution is 0 0.05 degrees. Precision, plus or minus 0.1 at zero and 90, plus or minus 0.2 at others. And you know the measurement degrees slash percent slash millimeters per meter slash inches per feet. Kind of gives you the rundown there. Um, you can see it comes with some nice directions here that talk about basically everything that you're gonna need to know. And um, all in English, easy to read, easy to understand. So little carrying case with a little loop on it. I like that so that it stays protected if you have it in your toolbox, tool bag, something along those lines. Comes with two AAA batteries already installed, so you're good to go. Working temperature, zero degrees Celsius to plus 40 degrees Celsius approximately. So I'm in Minnesota. We obviously get well below 32 degrees. Um, so this just isn't gonna perform great outside in the really cold winter, but that's not a problem. A lot of this is gonna get used inside as well. So obviously when you turn it on, it's just gonna go ahead and, and turn on and, and it's gonna want to you know zero itself. The way to always use it properly is to kind of set it like this on the side or you can set it upside down, I believe, but you don't wanna have it like angled like this. You're gonna put it like this, or if it's on a surface, you know, that's turned, they're gonna set it like this, and then it's gonna measure that angle right there. Okay, so when we turn it on, see it turn on here, and then it's just trying to measure that. So now you gotta flip it up. So if I flip it up, then we can see it. So I might go ahead and do a different angle with the camera so you can see what it says. But when you lay it down like this, it's just gonna give you that error message because of course it can't read anything like that. It needs to be on the side and it needs to be, so you can do it upside down. Obviously you can do it on the side. That's where you're gonna be close to a 90 degree, uh, you know, of course, on the basis that your uh, area is flat, which of course nothing ever seems to be perfectly flat. And of course, if you turn it like so, you're gonna to get to all those different angles, you know, down to 45 and then all the way back down to close to zero, depending on what you zeroed it in on and depending again, if your surface is flat. Okay, if you push the mode button, that's just gonna let you go to percentage, then meter, millimeters per meter, then inches per feet for the drop. But mostly I'm gonna use this for the angle. I think this will work great for um, making sure your blades, your saw blades are are zeroed properly, that type of thing, and just for finding angles at different times with different projects. So I will take another view here. So maybe I will just take this off and show it to you. Let's see if I can take this off. There we go. All right, so here you go. You can see what it looks like. You can see if we turn it here, right? So my surface is not perfectly flat, which probably no one's is exactly flat, but you can see here, you know, it should be in a in a perfect world. If this was perfectly flat, we'd be at zero there, and then we'd be at ninety here. Um, but we're pretty close, so it's close close to being perfectly level. But of course, it's you know the floor in the garage is not perfectly level. And then if you flip it upside down, it'll still go back to so. All right, so there it is, digital angel gauge from Volcanoes Club on Amazon. Nice little tool, has a lot of different things that you could use it for. Thanks.